How do you end a friendship you no longer want to be in? That's really hard. And I think it depends. If it was a single instance, then that instance needs to be discussed and unpacked and figure out if it's worth continuing the friendship. If it's a single instance that has been the icing on the cake for a thousand instances and you just know it's time to walk away, it may be that you need to write a letter or that you need to sit down and have a conversation or however you feel like you can be able to communicate that you just don't think that both of you are going to thrive together anymore. I did this one time with a friendship. I had sent an email because they were very formal about emails and, and letters and that kind of stuff. So basically that was the language that they spoke and so that's how I wrote it and I wrote out everything that I needed to say and I really didn't care what they said back because it was just, it was not a friendship that I wanted to continue to pursue majority of time when friendships are coming to an end they kind of just ease away and you talk less and less and then eventually you just don't talk at all anymore and you're like oh I wonder where they are I had this happen once she was a huge part of my early 20s and then she just kind of completely disappeared and then she popped back around in my late 20s and I was like oh there you are and so we went out to lunch and tried to like chit chat and get together and it was just totally different and I was like you know what I don't think we're ever gonna be friends again I didn't say that out loud I thought it out loud and then I just never pursued the friendship and she didn't either I think us getting together we both realized that we'd just grown beyond that friendship and it wasn't something that was gonna fuel either of us again and of course just like any relationship in life there's a thousand different reasons why friendships end whether it's betrayal or behaviors on somebody's parts that you don't want to be part of or behaviors on your part that they don't want to be part of or belief systems growing or one of you moved. It's, it can be a thousand different reasons. But I think it boils down to if you think that conversation is either one, going to give you peace of mind or two, give you a complete and final ending to that friendship, then maybe it's worth being had. But if you feel like that conversation may get manipulative or you might get sucked back in or they may play the victim or you might play the victim and it might not be a safe place for you to be authentic, then it might just be best to let it fade into the background. So evaluate it both ways. If you feel like them walking away exactly as things are and you never speaking again, do you feel like 10 years from now you're gonna feel like there were things left unsaid? And if so, say them now. But if you really evaluate it and you don't think there's gonna be anything left unsaid and it's just more of a growing apart, then just let it fade. Let it take its natural winter and put itself to bed. One of the hard things of this world is that relationships begin and relationships end. And that goes for all different kinds of relationships. And that's a hard thing for us to be able to walk through because we love people. Just know your feelings are valid, their feelings are valid. And even if you wanted the friendship to end, there will still be a season of grief. Grieving both what was and what could have been. So allow yourself to feel all those feelings, grieve, and then move on.